An ITV boss has hit out at the BBC for buying the rights to US legal drama starring Meghan Markle, just as it bleats about budget cuts. Kevin Ligo, ITV's programming chief, revealed the publicly funded broadcaster had outbid his own company to acquire the show Suits. Speaking at the voice of the listener and viewers spring conference in London yesterday, Mr Ligo said it was a poor use of taxpayers' licence fee money, adding, You hear the BBC bleating about it, lower budgets for programming, and yet they have all the money in the world. Why do they buy all that American stuff? I've had a go at so many different BBC people about this. They just bought suits. You know, the thing with Meghan Markle and... You think, why? They outbid us. What's that got to do with licence fee payers' money? ITV has long held concerns about the way the BBC competes for the rights for foreign shows amid fears it's driving the price up for rivals. It's previously accused the BBC of buying up expensive US shows to maximise younger audience viewing figures. The BBC revealed last month that it had acquired all nine seasons of Suits in which Meghan starred as paralegal Rachel Zane. Allegedly, Meghan was deeply perturbed when ITV executives chose to overlook her royal demands and instead extended a warm welcome to a public adversary, Jeremy Clarkson. Clarkson had stirred controversy with a scathing column about Meghan, but unlike some, he had the courage to issue an apology, leading to the removal of the piece by The Sun. Despite this, ITV opted to give Clarkson a mild reprimand and allowed him to retain his role on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, much to Meghan's dismay. In a fit of anger, Meghan hastily mobilised her team to launch a petition demanding ITV to dismiss Clarkson. However, ITV displayed resilience and refused to yield to the Duchess's demands. Instead, they chose to observe the audience's response to Clarkson's episodes carefully. Surprisingly, the public didn't react as Meghan had anticipated, and Clarkson remained securely in his hosting position. ITV's stance was clear one misstep and Clarkson would be out, but for now they preferred to maintain stability. Adding insult to injury for Meghan, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, continues to hold the hearts of the UK public, despite Meghan's attempts to tarnish her reputation with baseless rumours. The majority of Britons still crown Catherine as their favourite royal, leaving Meghan and Harry trailing behind. The nation's unwavering affection for Catherine remained unshaken, even in the face of controversy. Harry's popularity lags behind his wife's, which must be a bitter pill for a couple desperate for approval. Their plummeting ratings reflect the British public's growing impatience with their constant drama and victim narrative. Meghan's envy of Catherine seems to run deep, driven not just by royal hierarchy but by a personal vendetta, her audacious demands to ITV and attempts to smear Catherine's image only solidify her position as the royal family's outcast. As Meghan grapples with ITV's defiance and Catherine's unassailable popularity, the rest of us observe the royal rebellion losing its shine. It seems Meghan and Harry are scrambling for a plot twist that may never materialise as they struggle to maintain relevance in both royal circles and public opinion.